it's Hannah, and yes, I have coloured my hair again. I'll do a quick spin around for you. It's greens and purples and blue in the front, but predominantly green and purple through the back. And yeah, I posted a picture on Instagram of the back of my head and people seem to like it. So I am actually enjoying this far more than my last hair colour. I posted a picture on Instagram a few days ago stating that I wanted to do another Q&A video and so this is it. People had questions so I am answering them. I actually got a Snapchat question as well, so we'll start with a Snapchat question. This Snapchat question is from Random Endeavours and she asks, do you knit? And yes, I do knit. I'm not very good at it, I won't lie, pretty bad at it, but I can do basic um, knit, purl, increase, decrease, but I'm, I, I'm far better at crochet. Let's go to Instagram. Next question is from fairykind92. She asks, what inspires you to do crafts? By the way, I love you, I think you're amazing, thanks. What inspires me to do crafts? It's kind of tricky. A lot of it's out of boredom, I won't lie. I get bored, I don't like doing nothing, so I like to craft and make things. My mum's always been someone who makes things. She's a big knitter, going back to the last question. She's a big knitter, She, I've grown up with watching her knit all of my life, and so I've you know, I've grown up in quite a crafty household, so I am continuing the craft trend. But what inspires me to make particular things, it's either something I've seen on Pinterest, or if it's a request from someone, or if it's something that I've just seen in a high street shop that I think, I could make that, then I make it, you know? Agatha asks, what is your favourite colour? Black and white not included. Well, no, black and white not included because they're not colours, they are absence of colours. My favourite colour is teal, I think, or like a mint green, it does depend on my mood. Broadle3, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, asks, how did you meet your boyfriend and how long have you guys been together? So, my boyfriend and I met through a mutual friend, he lived with someone that was in the same French class as me at university, so I went over to his house because I was actually meant to be set up with someone else. But then I met my boyfriend, and then after a year of knowing each other, we got together and everything was fine. We've been together for almost five years, five years in September. We would have been together, so that is quite a long time. Raining Sunshine 131 on Instagram asks, how did you and So Crumptastic meet? Well, we've never met in person, but how we started talking to each other online is because I posted a picture on Instagram of a bracelet that I made using one of her tutorials and she commented on it, then I think she had a bit of an Instagram stalk of me, ordered something from my Etsy shop and then we just got chatting. Agatha asks another question, she asks, best activity to do when bored in the summer please? Now I've been unemployed for just over a month now because I left my job in preparation to move to Germany so Yes, I have been packing, but I've also spent a lot of time not really doing that much. So when I'm bored in the summer, I watch Netflix and I play The Sims 4 quite a lot. And then obviously I make things as well, or I bake things, but predominantly I play The Sims 4. I've just got really back into it. It's not good, but I enjoy it. Guinea Pig Star 2 says, how do you come up with your crafts? Now I kind of answered this before, but yes. Pinterest browsing and just finding inspiration from, I, sometimes I walk into Primark and I just go to the jewellery section and have a look at the monstrosities that are there and if there's something that I think I can make then I will try and make it, sometimes it doesn't work out. I very often get requests of things as well that I've made or requests of things to make so that is always helpful as well because obviously I want to make videos that you want to watch otherwise this relationship just isn't going to work. Quok94. Ah, I met Quok at the careers evening that I did in Little Hampton. Nice day. What do you do when you're bored and how do you keep creative with your work? What do I do when I'm bored? I've answered that one already. I play The Sims and watch that 70s show which I'm almost at the end of on Netflix. So, sad times. But, how I keep my work creative? That's kind of a tricky one. I like to challenge myself, so I love it when you guys request things, guys and girls I suppose I should say, like a lot of the bead weaving tutorials that I've done were requests and I loved that because I actually had to sit and plan and think about it. 
Sometimes I get stuck in a bit of a creative rut, so that is when you will get a lot of the same kind of videos at once. So you'll get a lot of crochet videos, or you'll get a lot of beading videos. That's just because I happen to be a bit obsessed with that particular craft at that particular time. But yeah, collaborations also help me to keep creative because I, it requires me to challenge myself. It's good, I like collabs, they are fun. And it's a good way to make friends as well, went off topic. MCRJP1247, what do you use to edit videos and how many crochet items do you think you've made in your life? I use Windows Movie Maker to edit my videos. It is what came free on my laptop. I'm thinking I might treat myself to Adobe Premiere Elements, but I don't want to get a new editing program and then not know how to use it because I'm, I'm one of those people where if I can't do it, I don't want to do it, you know? I can't ride a bike because I couldn't do it immediately, so I didn't want to learn. It's a really bad personality trait to have, but it, you live with it. I've made a lot of crochet items in my time, like a lot, around 50 odd, I think. KKMM Nana, how is your move going? Now, as I've mentioned before, I am moving to Germany next month, which is really soon, in about two weeks. So my flat is looking very empty at the minute. Um, but the move is going well, it's super stressful. I don't have a flat to live in in Germany at the moment. I don't have a job in Germany at the moment. I can't speak as good German as I thought I could um, because I haven't spoken it for two years. We need to sort out bank accounts, we need to sort out health insurance, we need to do all sorts of different things. So I'm getting really stressed out about it, but my boyfriend's really calm about it. So it's quite a good balance because I'm a stress head and he's so chilled out. He's just like, it'll be fine, everything will work out, just stop stressing. There's nothing you can do about it, just calm it down. D underscore loves underscore, underscore crafts. What do you think the worst part about doing crafts is? Well, yes, the expense of crafts is an example, big time, big, big time. And also the fact that the thing, I'm a bit of a hoarder, I'm a big hoarder, what am I gonna say? I have so many balls of wool and I have so many beads just because I like the colour and therefore I want to buy it but then I don't want to do anything with it because I don't want to use it for the wrong project. And the fact that the corner of craft isn't exactly in a corner anymore, it kind of took over the whole flat at one point. Sorry Mario. Crafty Ria asks, how did you start your love for crafting? My love of crafting started when I was very young, like I said I grew up with my mum crafting and my grandma's. Um, both knitted quite a lot, my mum sewed and knitted and so I kind of got into it that way. It was a good way for me to entertain myself without being sat in front of the TV, um, which I'm not slating anyone that does sit in front of the TV all day because God knows I do it sometimes, but it's quite nice to do something as well as sit in front of the TV so you're not just wasting your day away. Mafinda06, Mafinda, can you react to your first video please? This is going to be awkward. Oh, advert. Have you ever been told? Yep. Oh, goodness. This, this was bad. This is so awkward. Like, why didn't I just re-say it and re-edit that? So, I'm so awkward in front of the camera, which is ridiculous, because I've been making YouTube videos from the age of 16 on a different YouTube channel. I mean, they weren't any good, but I was more like this in front of the camera, a bit more relaxed, a bit more blah, blah, blah. I don't know why that when I started the Corner of Craft videos that I just weren't so awkward. I think it's possibly because I knew that people that I know in real life were gonna be watching them, whereas they didn't watch my other videos because I had like so few subscribers. This is so awkward. Okay, now I can't do this anymore. I filmed all those crochet basic videos in the same day and uploaded them all in the same day. So I'm equally as awkward in all of those videos and it makes me so uncomfortable. It's uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't wanna watch that again. So uncomfortable.
uncomfortable. I feel like I've opened up to you guys a lot more now, which is delightful because I feel like you're getting to know the real me a bit more, so I'm not just something like, hello, my name is Hannah, and I'm FaceTime, the corner of the crowd. What was with the eye roll? Ugh. Horrible. Crafty for days. Nice Instagram name, I like that. Crafty for days. Sorry. Where is your dream place to live? I would love to move to Bakewell. I think that is my favorite place that I've ever visited in my life. It's just, amazing. Yes, it is the place where Bakewell tarts come from. It's in the Derbyshire Dales. It's just a little English village and it's incredible. I love it. It's not There's nothing particularly special about it. I just love it there and I think Mario is kind of fed up because every time he's off and I'm off, I'm just like, can we go to Bakewell please? And soon I'm moving to Germany and I won't be able to go to Bakewell. Eva, Yes? And both It's Me, Charles Michael, ask what made you start a YouTube channel? What made me start a YouTube channel? I did ask this in my last Q&A, but I'll answer it again because, yeah, why not? I started a YouTube channel because, well, basically, I had the Corner Craft online shop and I thought it would be a fun way to promote it by making tutorials and making videos and it was just another, basically it was another form of promotion. But then I found that I enjoyed making videos loads so that's kind of taken over my corner of craft business and now it's the Etsy shop on the side so yeah that's that's basically everything thank you to all of you who asked questions please keep an eye out on social media for any future Q&A's that I want to do if you would like your question to be answered you can leave it in this video if you like in the comment section or pop it on social media, I might just answer it anyway because I'm that kind of person. Thank you very much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it please feel free to hit the thumbs up button, your support means an awful lot to me as always, and please feel free to hit subscribe, I post a new video here in the corner of craft every Sunday and sometimes a bonus one in the week as well. I will be having another craft tutorial next Sunday, I'm having to sort of film a lot of things in advance because obviously I'm moving. I would love to have you join the party train in the corner of craft, so please hop aboard, hit subscribe and have a dance because that's what we do. Drink some punch and have a dance. Choo choo, party trip, party trip, party trip. Thanks very much for watching this video and I shall see you very soon in my next one. Bye!